So, I've cheated. Yes, 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 I know, I know. The 2 minutes and 29 run was not played by me and was not played live. So it, it might not come as a surprise for most of you, but some people actually thought that this run was actually a run from me as a player and just was played live with my mouse and keyboard and uh, yeah. So I will need to explain to those people what was this video about. So this video is a task. Uh, as it's written in the title of the video, the thumbnail of the video, and it's explained in the description right below the video. I thought this would be enough for people to not confuse that as a legit speedrun or whatever, but apparently not. So I will do a more proper and official explanation about all that. So first of all, what is a task? Yeah, you might see that it's a task, but you might not know what it is, actually. And if you don't check the description, then you will never know uh, what is it. So, TAS stands for Tool Assisted Speedrun and is, as its name suggests, the activity of doing speedrun but using tools. And the main goal with this is doing a theoretical perfect speedrun of a game while exploring its limit and finding some mechanics or glitches that may be impossible to find when playing the game normally. I might do a more in-depth video about all of that, but for now, I'm just gonna show you how I did it for a difficult game about climbing. So, we are now into the game and I will show you how my tool work and how I did the task. So, as you can see, there is quite a lot of information on the right side of the screen. This is all uh, all my debug and my, uh, how do you say, my, uh, my values, the values that I need to, to properly task the game, to properly know the speed, for example, of the player, the time, uh, its position, the mouse also, the inputs that I put into the mouse. I will explain that to you uh, later. Uh, the save dates, uh, the game speed, and uh, yeah, all those kind of uh, values that I need to uh, do it properly. So, the main concept of a task is to play the game in slow motion. So, here I have keys that I can use to put the game and play it in, in slow-mo, basically. That's, that's the main goal of, uh, of this. And so, I can do very precise inputs to uh, properly play the game and uh, have a huge advantage compared to player uh, so yeah this is the first the first step of doing the task and as you can see here I'm not doing it properly so I lose a lot of speed but uh, this is just this is just to show you uh, to show you a bit of the tools so you might wonder well yeah this is just slowing down slowing the game down so you can do that very easily with a program called cheat engine um, so why bother with all the rest, right? Why bother with, uh, with all the rest? And why did it took like uh, 10 days or even more to, to do it? Well, if you just slow down the game and for example, uh, yeah, I can, I can show you like, I will uh, create a new game, okay? I will slow down the game and then we hide the HUD, okay? Let's say you're doing a task right now and you want to do that. So this is a bit slow because of course I have to wait for the game to start. Okay, and now this is slow, okay? I, I slow down the game. So, okay, let's say you want to test your game and do that. Now, how you will record that? So what you can do is basically record what you did in slow-mo and for example, speed it up back when you want to upload, for example, the video on YouTube. But you will notice that if you do that, uh, your result will look very weird. The sound won't be exactly uh, how the game is supposed to play. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a bit weird and that's not how TAS actually works. Because the main goal, uh, remember, the main goal of the TAS is to do something that you can do in the game uh, and you can replay it in the game directly. Okay. So, for that, this is where the replay system comes in. Because, okay, I can slow down the game with my tool, but I can also 
record what I do and replay them back into the game. So for example, I will go back to normal speed here. I will press my R key to record. As you can see, the next, uh, the next state of the game will be recording. So every time this, the, this value next changes, every time I, I do a new game, this will be uh, the, the next state. So currently I'm just playing and on the next new game, I will be recording. So I'm gonna do that. And now you can see that the current state is recording and the next will be playing. And so if I do, if I do some stuff, okay. Okay, and I stop. When I will be playing them back. So now I mean, re I'm, I'm replaying what I did, okay. I'm not touching my keyboards or my mouse. I'm just replaying, I can even hide the HUD to have proper everything. And so now what is playing is exactly what I did, okay. So this is the first step, recording your inputs, recording what you do. Uh, but I'm not recording, I'm not actually recording the inputs. And that's why some uh, moments in the tasks are weird. Because, because I'm not recording the inputs, everything I do must be, uh, the, must be accurate in the game, okay? And unfortunately, it's not. So there is some moments in the task that you, you can see where I grab, but I don't grab anything, I don't touch it. Uh, for example, the lantern, uh, the cable, the, the beam also, uh, all those kind of stuff. They are a little bit uh, not accurate uh, because I'm not recording the inputs, I'm recording the position of the, of the player. So if my tool doesn't uh, properly like uh, record the position, then it would look something like this, okay? So, but this is not an issue with the recording. I will explain to you exactly the issue, uh, where the issue come from. Okay, so this is the first step. Now, now that I have a tool to record and uh, slow the game, I can just record like this. Play the game in slow-mo. Okay, for example, like this. And just do whatever I want. Okay, I can just go like this very fast and stuff uh, this is cool okay yeah I'm gonna do that. okay but what if what if even in slow-mo because playing in slow-mo is not really uh, something very uh, obvious to do uh, for every game what if here I mess up and shit okay oh you know okay this this was bad I don't want to put that into my run because it was obviously a fail, a mistake. Now, how do I fix that? So, the most obvious thing to do would be, well, I'm just gonna do it again, right? I'm just gonna stop recording, recording again, doing a new game, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, f this time I'm gonna play uh, correctly, right? Well, you can do that if you want, I mean, this is okay, uh, but imagine you're like, one hour in, into your task, because obviously if you're slowing the game every time, um, the, the run won't be two minutes long uh, to do. So obviously you will be like hours into your, your task. What if you do a mistake after one hour? Do you really want to go back through the one hour and do that? Well, I don't think so. So something you can, you can do to, uh, to do that is basically to save. Even though you, 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 you done a mistake, you can save what you did, replay it back at normal speed or very fast, and then when you reach the point where you did the mistake, you can, you can, for example, overwrite your replay, overwrite your recording, and do something else. Okay, so this is possible actually uh, currently with uh, with my tool. You can, for example, record. So right now I'm recording. Okay, I'm gonna do like in slow mo. I'm gonna try to do that, okay, and for example here, well I can't, I can't even do it, here, oh shit, uh, yeah, I lost all my speed here, okay, so what I'm gonna do is stop my, my recording back, play, play, play it back, okay. And right now, right 
before, so I have to pause the game, of course. Uh, right before I do the mistake, I can continue my recording where it was. So, okay, this is uh, this is the mistake. Let, let's say this is a mistake. I, I know I, I missed it by a few frames, but whatever. I'm gonna do uh, a save here. And so now, if I load here, perfect. Um, I will be able to uh, do something else. So yeah, I can do that to fix a bit. Well, this is not perfect, of course, but this is just to show you uh, a bit. Okay. So okay, let's say I fixed the mistake. So now I can just stop recording and do that. And as you will see, there won't be well, the mistake will still be there, but I overwrite, basically, I o I have overwritten the, the recording so I can do uh, more uh, more perfect stuff. Okay, so this is one way to do it. Uh, I mean, this is not a bad way, but uh, this is not the most optimized one. The most optim optimized way to fix, to fix sorry your mistakes is by doing what we call a safe state. Okay, so you will see on the right side of my screen, there is something called the safe states. And there is actually uh, currently 10 of them, okay? So, what is a save state? Basically, the idea is to save the entire state of the game, okay? So, for this game specifically, I'm not saving everything, I'm just saving what matters the most. Uh, so, basically, uh, yeah, the, the player, of course, but there is uh, some other thing as well. So, let's say I'm recording, okay? And for example, Right before I go out of the water, I saved. Here, I saved the save state. And this, the save state is currently right there. So whenever I load the save state, it will load exactly the state of the game when I saved it, basically, okay? So this is the, s the state of the game when, when I saved. And what I can do now is basically continue to play the game as if I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, testing it. So I'm just playing the game uh, in slow motion. And whenever, whenever I think this is a good thing, what I did, I can save again. And now, if I do a mistake, so here, for example, I messed up, I can just load back one second before that, and this time, do it properly. Okay? So now, I can just try to do it better or properly. And whenever I'm happy with, uh, with what I did, I can save another save state, and etc, uh, etc. Et okay? So basically, this is how I've done the tasks. Uh, I mean, I, I, I have shown you uh, every single thing that I've used. Another thing that I've used uh, that I didn't show you actually is the mouse. Because to play the game, you need a mouse, right? Well, you can also press space, uh, as I'm doing right now. I'm pressing space so the player uh, gets uh, higher uh, when, I, when I grab a wall, okay? So this is an, an alternative way to use uh, to, to play the game. If you uh, don't have a really uh, high DPI mouse, you can use space. Uh, so I, I don't know if some people uh, did, did know that or not. But space doesn't really uh, put the maximum force that you, that, you can, that you can do. So the mouse would be actually the most um, optimized way of doing it in the game. But you have to, you, you have to move your mouse very, very, very fast and very, very, very high, okay? This is not something a human can do, basically. But what I can do is inject directly into the game whatever value I want for the, for the mouse. So basically, I can tell the game, even though this is not the case, I can tell the game, hey, my mouse is currently moving at 99999999999 force uh, upward, so please uh, just just take that, in, take that into account uh, in the game, okay? This is basically what I'm doing. Well, I'm not inputting uh, 1999. I'm just inputting a value of, as you can see on the right, where it's written mouse. The X value, so horizontal value of the mouse is the first number that I can change, okay? So here, for example, uh, sorry, here I can change my uh, the value, right? And the value on the uh, right is the Y value. So the vertical axis of the mouse. So I can input a 50 uh, axis value. This is very high. Uh, this is quite high, actually. Uh, I don't think 
anyone can do this uh, physically, even with the best uh, mouse uh, there is. Uh, but I might test other value because I didn't really test other values. So for now, this is the only value that I've tested with is uh, 50. Maybe we can do uh, 100 or whatever, and that would be actually faster. So yeah, basically I'm right now inputting the maximum, uh, a very high value into the mouse. So what that allows me to, you to, to do is basically to have the maximum force there is for my player to climb up basically and I can also do that for you can see the X value of uh, of the of the mouse so now I can basically just crab crab my way whatever, whatever whenever I want whatever I want and this will be very fast no matter what well it won't be the most f the fastest but it would be very fast no matter what okay so yeah that's all the things my tool is doing. Um, one of the most complicated things I had to do was handling the save state. So as I told you, the save state is just uh, basically saving all the state of the game uh, at, what po at one point and then load it, uh, load it back. Okay. But if you play, if you play the game, uh, you know, you might know that there is actually a moving object in the game okay like this one for example okay so if I only save the player and then load my save state then the moving object won't be uh, loading uh, in, in its previous state okay and so this is an issue because now my gameplay won't be possible uh, because I've used the save state basically to manipulate the position of the gear and it won't work uh, well with the task. Okay, so what I need to do uh, in addition to saving the state of the player, I also need to save the state of the moving objects in the game. So right now, whenever I load the save state here, I'm exactly where I was and also the moving object, so here the, the, cog, the cog wheel, would be exactly in the same position uh, when I save the game. Okay, this is the case for all moving objects. So all of those currently right here, as you can see, would be loaded in my save state. And uh, this was something not really uh, easy to do because some objects. So at first, some objects also, yeah, those ones are actually, yeah, they are bugged right now currently. So this is, uh, this is great. Uh, they, they didn't bug when uh, when I did uh, first my task. I don't know what's going on uh, actually, but those objects are not very are very specific because they move depending on what time uh, passed since the start of the game. So even if I save my save state, whatever, whatever, whenever I want, uh, this won't change. So basically, uh, it's just ignoring my save state. And also those the clothes the clothes are weird. Um, because they are uh, physics objects, so they basically uh, do their stuff. Uh, they are moved by gravity uh, and stuff. So this was kind of hard because the ropes where they are on to are not saved in the safe state, and that's why uh, that's mainly why, uh, for example, the rope, uh, this rope here. Oops, I might be too fast. This rope here. Uh, was a bit weird in my in my task because I don't. Whenever I saw, uh, sorry, I save, I save uh, this. I don't load back the position of the rope, so uh, I might have done something impossible uh, in my task. Okay, uh, don't mind the legs. Uh, there. And also uh, something that was very hard to do, actually, uh, one of the most hard thing to do, was to properly restore all the speed of my player when I load because so w what you are seeing in uh, here the you, you can see orange and green bars uh, on my player right now one in the body and one in each ends this is basically the speed of uh, whatever object it's in so uh, for the ends uh, it's the speed of the hands and in the body it's the speed of the of the body and the thing that is hard to do is to uh, get back this value exactly how it was uh, in the state. 
because this value is computed uh, using some physics and using some other values as well because of that it's very hard to properly restore the state and the, the, the physics state and everything uh, on, the, on the player so in the task whenever I do a save state and load it the speed of the hands mainly the speed of the hands is not loaded properly Sometimes it's a bit lower than it should be, and sometimes it's a bit higher than it should be. So this allowed me to do, to maybe do some stuff that is not accurate with the the game, especially one that you might have seen uh, in the lantern section. Okay, I don't know where am I right now. In the lantern section of the game, there is one lantern that I grab even though I'm not touching it. And this is basically the result of all uh, of all of what I've said. So the rope of the lantern, the rope that is uh, currently holding the lantern is not loaded back when uh, when I set, when I load and also the fact that the ends are not properly uh, their speed is not properly restored when I load them. Okay? So both of those results in that some moments in the game, in the task, that is not perfectly accurate with the game. So that doesn't mean it's like totally inaccurate. Uh, it's very, very, very close. I, I would say it's like 90% close of what is currently possible in the game. Uh, it's not like cheated. It's not like hacked or whatever. This is a pretty good and pretty close, um, pretty close behavior of the game. But yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes when I loaded the save state, the speed wasn't 100% accurate with uh, the safety. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's it. Basically, that's all I wanted to say here. Um, I will try to fix all the issues of the tool. Uh, if you want to uh, pass uh, by my uh, pass uh, uh, on my stream. My Twitch stream, if you want, if you're interested to, to know more, you can do that, of course. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I hope the people that thought uh, it was cheated and everything, um, well, now understand what is it and uh, why it was done. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you in another video. Bye.